Alright YouTube, welcome back to part 2 of the Pet Sim X UI tutorial series and uh, this right here is part 2. Uh, if you guys have not seen the first part, go ahead and check it out. So, uh, what we have made in the last part is the main HUD here with the side buttons, the uh, progress and the currency of the bottom button right here. We're going to add icons later, but in this part we are going to make this new update thing so this will pop up because it's right here so why not um yeah let's get right into it first things first right here use the rounded rectangle tool and the radius i'm gonna try 35 we're just going to go to a corner i'm just gonna drag it out right it's not exactly the same but all right, um, it's not exactly the same. If you want to enlarge the radius, you could go ahead and do so, but I actually like this right here. So next, let's change the color to the same uh, shade of, to the same white color right here. And next, let's copy this layer by holding Alt and dragging it down over here. Once you let it go, let's make a copy. We're going to double click and we're gonna pick this color. Okay, we're gonna hit Control T and just rotate this like so. Probably somewhere right here. Put Alt, drag this one up, double click, and pick on this blue color. And we're just gonna hit Control T and drag this right here. And we're just gonna make this one smaller and move it down so we have something like this. Oh, also, I noticed there's a stroke, so let's go to the top layer, right click, blending options, let's add a stroke, and the stroke will be the same color as this right here. Alright, so I'm going to bring in the Roblox logo, because if you can see in the background, there is a pattern here, and I'm just going to use the Roblox logo, so let's remove the background, okay, I'm going to select this blue color. I'm gonna hold control, click on the icon, and alt backspace twice. And I'm gonna hit control D. And now we have a nice Roblox icon. Let me take this and we can just duplicate this. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna take this, copy it over and over. Right here, right here, and let's keep going. All right, it could go over. It doesn't matter because we're going to right click, create clipping mask, and it's going to clip this into the shape, the frame here. So let's go like that. Down here. All right, perfect. I think we are off to a great start. Okay, next, let's make this button. All right, let's see how it looks. I think it is looking great so far, as you can see. <laughs> All right, so now let's make this big okay button. So round up anything with silver again. Let's pick on this blue color. Uh, radius, we're gonna stick with 35. Let's see how it looks. 35 is a bit too high, let's go for 20. Okay. 20 should be fine, or you can do it. 15, there we go, place so it right here, and place it right in the middle, and we're just going to copy and paste, so right click copy layer style, right click and paste, or the stroke, go to blending options, add inner shadow, color is going to be white, blend mode is overlay, opacity all the way up, distance at zero, choke. 100 and size up then we can turn down the opacity all right now with this then we're gonna add some text so i'm just gonna add okay like that place it right here should be fine and some text for the top the update Paste the same layer style. So we will have 
this right here pretty clean um, take this next we're gonna paste the layer style and we're gonna put a new update we put today's date there we go and I'm just gonna put it right here okay and now for the final part it is going to be the X button so how do we achieve that it's easy make a new layer let's go to our pencil uh, fill is gonna be on so click on the black box and stroke is off so this this uh, red slash all right we're just gonna click right here hold shift click shift click and we're just gonna click down here and you can just curve it along here there we go change the color to the red go into your Blending options, it's like the same outline, and go for a drop shadow, spread up, size down, opacity up, same color right here, and distance, now you adjust the size, and now we have a proper X button, place it right here on the corner, and we're going to copy the text that we have here. And copy the effects for the button and paste it onto our text. Move it up top, and as you can see, we have successfully created the updates notification UI right here. So we take this off, you guys can see. There we go, it looks great. Um, thank you guys for watching part two. Stay tuned for part three, and I'll see you guys next time.